Hey everybody, this is Jeremy with Restoration Church, Celebrate Recovery. And uh, today I got a got a little word for you guys that uh, I got into. And uh, it, it was uh, speaking to me. And I'm just going to jump right in this in 2 Chronicles chapter 16. And it's talking about uh, this king named Asa. And starting in verse 7, it says, At that time the seer Hanani came to the king Asa of Judah and said to him, Because you depended on the king of Aram and have not depended on the Lord your God, the army of the king of Aram has escaped from you. Were not the Cushites and the Libyans a vast army with many chariots and horsemen when when you depended on the Lord, he handed them over to you. For the eyes of the Lord roam throughout the earth to show himself strong for those who are wholeheartedly devoted to him. You have been foolish in this matter. Therefore, you will have wars from now on. Asa was enraged with the seer and put him in prison. Because of his anger over this and... Asa mistreated some of the people at that time. Uh, what Asa done done is he done went and struck up a deal with this other king. He done gave him some gold and some silver so he could help him defeat some other folk. Well, that ain't what God was wanting him to do. God wanted him to go on in this like he was leading him. And since he didn't trust in the Lord wholeheartedly, then he just he just got over on himself, and uh, it, it was a struggle. And I know you and me today do the same thing. We uh, God may be leading us to share something or do something. Uh, it very much like like uh when I stepped out of work and pursuing a dream and a business of my own uh God led me right out into that well it would have been very easy to have not done it it would have been very easy just to stay working where I was doing things that I was doing but it took faith and I knew that God was leading me, and it was very scary because I didn't know how the bills was going to get paid and this, that, and the other. Well, we don't have to know because we already know one great thing. If God's put this on your heart, step out and do it because he's already laid the path out. And it's a beautiful path. And the fear that you have that that is not from God, don't fear what he's leading you into because he loves you and he don't want you to show enough struggle all the time he he lets us struggle through things to grow but he helps us the whole way uh when we're following him even though it's a little scary uncomfortable and different things like that uh and then over here in jeremiah chapter one uh chapter four i mean chapter one verse four the word of the Lord came to me. He said, I chose you before I formed you in the womb. I set you apart before you were born. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. But I protested. Oh, no, Lord God. Look, I don't know how to speak since I'm only a kid. I'm only a youth. Then the Lord said to me, do not say I am only a youth. For you will go to everyone I send you to speak whatever I tell you. Do not be afraid of anyone, for I will be with you to rescue you. This is the Lord's declaration. Then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth and told me, I have now filled your mouth with my words. See, I have appointed you today over nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and demolish, to build and plant. 
This is where God's called Jeremiah, and he's called you and me as well. And, and in them last verses there, he said he called him to uproot and tear down, to destroy and to demolish, and also to build and to plant. A lot of times we get uh, we get into that building and planting a little bit, but what about the tearing down and the demolishing? Sometimes we got to go in and be honest with some folks, and we got to also live by our own examples, but uh, God's already called you, and he's already called me, and he loves us, and he's not going to let us go about this alone. So when the Lord is leading you somewhere, something, somehow, simply follow. And it's going to be great. It's going to be great. I love you guys. And i uh, just like to say a prayer with you. Father God, I just thank you. Thank you so much for your word and your love for us, Lord God. I pray that you would just bless this video, bless these words. Bless your word as it goes out and speak to somebody's heart and somebody's life. And I pray that sparks will be sparked up in the lives of somebody who's listening today. Amen. Love you guys.